The topic of this video is determining the domain and range of a graph. Let's look at a problem. All right, so we have a graph here. It starts here at this x-intercept, which has an x value of negative pi over 2. It goes up, down through the origin, down, back up again, and it stops at pi over 2. So one of the things that you might notice about this graph is it has dots at the endpoints. So let's compare. What does it mean for there to be a dot at an endpoint as opposed to an arrow? A dot is a starting and stopping point. An arrow indicates that it continues on. So what that's telling me is that this graph starts at negative pi over 2 and goes all the way to pi over 2. It starts and stops. So when we are looking for our domain, we just have to ask ourselves this question. How far does the graph go to the left? How far does the graph go to the right? And do we have all of the points in between? So the graph furthest, the, the point on this graph that is farthest to the left, that would be the point on the black curve that is closest to this silver border, would be this one right here. And it has an x coordinate of negative pi over 2. The point on this graph that is farthest to the right, which is the point on the black curve that is closest to this silver border, would be this dot right here. And it has an x coordinate of pi over 2. Now, do we have all of the x values in between those two x values? Well, let's see if we can trace a path from the leftmost point to the rightmost point by moving along our line or curve without picking up our marker. So far, so good. Almost there. We made it. So what that tells me is that there are an infinite number of x's between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2, and we want all of them. In other words, this is an interval. So we separate these two values by a comma to indicate we want all of the values in between. What about the endpoint values? Do we want to include the number negative pi over 2 in our domain? Well, let's think about what domain means. This point right here is the ordered pair negative pi over 2, comma, 0. Now, domain is a collection of all of the x-coordinates. This negative pi over 2 represents an x-coordinate on our graph. Therefore, negative pi over 2 should be included in our domain. And the symbol we use to do that is a bracket. Using the same logic, this point, pi over 2, comma, 0, has an x-coordinate of pi over 2, Therefore, pi over 2 belongs in the domain, and I use a bracket. So my domain for this graph is negative pi over 2, comma, pi over 2. Let's now turn our attention to the range. Okay, I'm going to try and put this graph back to its original black color. I'm going to try to be very consistent in my videos, and I'm going to try and do domain in blue and range in green. So that will give you an idea of what we're talking about visually. Okay, so now I've turned my graph back to the original black color that it was. And I'm going to erase this point because that was a blue point, that was a domain point. All right, now we're going to turn our attention to range. If domain is a collection of x's, which means we're measuring left and right, then range must be a collection of y's, which means we're measuring up and down. And because we know our final answer is going to be expressed as an interval, we need to do the smallest first, which would be the down. So we're going to go from the down to the up. So which point on this graph is farthest down? Which part of this, of this black curve is closest to the bottom of the frame. That would be this point right here. Which point on the black curve is furthest up? In other words, closest to the top of the frame. That would be this point right here. Now let's see if we can identify the y-coordinates of those two points. This right here is the point pi over 4, comma, negative 1. This right here is the point negative pi over 4, comma, positive 1. So the smallest y value is negative 1, and the largest y value is positive 1. Do we want all of the numbers in between there? Well, 
It depends. Can we draw a path from the smallest dot to the highest dot without picking up our marker? The answer is yes. Watch. As we travel from there all the way to there by moving along our curve, we pick up all of the y values from the negative one all the way to the positive one, which is why we want an interval. And now all we have to decide is what do we put at the ends, brackets or parentheses? Well, here's a point. It has a y of negative one. If the range is the collection of all the y's, then it needs to include negative one and we need a bracket. Similarly, we need a bracket. So our range is bracket negative one comma one bracket and our domain is bracket negative pi over two comma pi over two bracket. 